Hi, I'm Stephanie Flockhart and welcome to my new skin series where I'm going to be sharing some full length tutorials where we look at some facial massages, gua sha routines, lymphatic drainage with a little bit of acupressure sprinkled in. These have been highly requested and I'm just so excited to share them with you. Today's facial massage is all about the cheekbones. So we're going to be focusing on defining through the cheekbone area as well as lifting the cheeks and it has the added benefit of working on the nasolabial lines. This is also great if you're an allergy sufferer or you get sinus problems or issues of any kind because the acupressure points that we're going to be including in today's massage or routine are amazing for decongestion and helping prevent allergy symptoms. I like to take a moment to take a few big deep breaths and set an intention before starting every beauty routine. I find this really ritualizes the practice and grounds your energy before you start. Think of this practice as an act of self-love or a date with yourself. I usually do three deep full breaths and really feel into my intention. An example of an intention could be, I exude beauty and confidence. So start by applying a facial oil, a facial moisturizer or a serum of your choice to a freshly cleansed face, gently patting it in. I like to really activate the oil that I'm using, particularly this oil by Vitness Daughter. Again, you can choose a serum or a moisturizer if that's more suited to your skin type. You just need to make sure that it has enough slip, which means that the tool or your fingers can move easily across the skin without stretching or catching the skin. Make sure to be really gentle and move slowly while you're doing this part of the practice. I'm generally still thinking about my intention at this point and really using this time to ground and continue with my big deep breaths. So we always start with opening up the lymphatic drainage points. You can see I'm making a J type motion, gently pressing down into the notch of the collarbone. Again, taking some big deep breaths and repeating this action five to 10 times. Next, we move on to the lymphatic point in front of the ears. Just use your fingertips in a light, gentle pumping action, remembering to be really delicate with any points or any time that we're working on the lymphatic system. Next, we're moving on to the point next to the nostrils on the side of the nose. Five to 10 pumps on each point. Now the inner corners of the eye. Again, very gentle in this area. I like to do this with my eyes closed. Now we separate our fingers from the ring finger and the middle finger and place them in front and behind our ears. Gently rubbing this point again to activate the lymphatic system and draining down the neck to the notch in the collarbone. This is one of my all time favorite facial massage moves and it's really relaxing just to do by itself. There's so many acupressure points in our ears and surrounding our ears that it's really beneficial for a whole multitude of reasons from reducing anxiety to improving sleep. Making sure to keep your fingers separated in front and behind the ears before you drain down the neck to the notch in the collarbone. Holding your fingers in this position, place them either side of your nose and then slowly move them with a medium pressure along the contour of the cheekbone Stopping at each point, taking a big deep breath, and then moving on to the next point. Continually tracing along your cheekbone. Depending on the bone structure of your face, you'll be able to do this three to four times along your cheekbone until you reach your ear or your hairline. Now, when you're stopping and pausing for a moment, you're wanting to softly push up and take a big deep breath and you'll find that this is a really wonderful natural decongestant and I really notice that my airways open up and my nostrils open up as I do this a few times and it really doesn't take long. It also has the added benefit of really defining the cheekbone area and giving you a nice sculpted look. And then always finishing every move with draining down the neck to the notch in the collarbone for lymphatic drainage. Now move your fingers into this position, separating them enough to hug your cheekbones as you glide slowly up and out. The main focus of this facial technique is to sculpt and define the cheekbones. And as we're 
moving slowly along the cheekbone area, you can see it's creating a lifting action. And this is one of my all time favorite facial exercises for definition in the cheekbone area. And then moving down the neck and giving a few pumps in the collarbone area. Now creating this position with your finger and using the knuckle of your fingers in a similar position to the first move that we did but this time we're just tracing underneath and along the entirety of the cheekbone. This move is really wonderful because it's not only defining the cheekbones, but it's also opening up the sinus passages. And I find this one really relieving during allergy season because you're softly stretching the skin using a delicate medium to light pressure and lifting up and out and then draining down the lymphatic pathway. I find that it really relieves sinus congestion. Just taking another big deep breath and just resetting after that portion of the practice and just letting go of anything that you need to that may have arisen during the facial massage portion. This acupressure point is called LA20. You will find it on the side of the nostril and using a medium pressure, increasing the pressure slowly as you breathe in and just holding the point. You can also move your fingers in gentle circles on any acupressure point. This point can be great for reducing sinus or allergy symptoms, reducing nasolabial lines and clearing the complexion. Now is a really wonderful time to again check in with yourself and just remember your intention. Acupressure is not only powerful for the physical side of things, but also the emotional. Now move your fingers laterally from the first point, stopping directly below the pupil. This point is ST3. Repeating the same actions as you did with the first point, Using a medium pressure, not too firm. You don't want to feel any pain. We're going to be holding this point for around 30 seconds or three big deep breaths. This point is one of my favorites for acne, clearing up facial blemishes, lifting saggy cheeks, and it's also incredible for clearing sinuses and relieving any congestion or a stuffy nose. Now moving on to the next point, BL2, which is at the start of the eyebrow. So again, using a medium pressure, pressing in, or you can do gentle circles if you like. This is one of my go-to points for lifting the brows, softening forehead wrinkles, and the 11 lines between the eyes. It's also incredible for any kind of watery eyes due to allergies or sinus headaches. This last acupressure point is called Yin Tung. It's located between the eyebrows where people would locate the third eye. And you can see I'm doing a bit of a different action for this point. I really like to massage the area, working up from between my eyebrows in a really relaxing, rhythmic type motion. The main indication of this point is for relaxation reducing stress, reducing anxiety. So I love to finish every face massage or face routine with this point. So that concludes our facial massage today. Focusing on the cheekbones and the cheeks is one of my must have go-to facial techniques. And it's the one that I always gravitate towards when I don't have a lot of time. As long as we're doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage and opening up the neck. So the fluids that we're trying to work on and the inflammation can actually have somewhere to drain is really, really important. And it's definitely a step in your routine that you do not want to skip. And then if I don't have time to do a whole face routine, I will just do the moves that I shared with you today because I find that they really sculpt the lower half of my face, which is where I hold a lot of my fluid retention and puffiness. And you'll even see just from the few minutes that we did together today, how much of a difference that's already made. Consistency is everything. So making sure that you're doing these exercises regularly. I love to actually incorporate them as a part of my skincare routine. So I'll put on my favorite oil or if you've got a serum or a moisturizer that provides enough slip, which means your fingers aren't getting stuck and tugging your skin, you can start doing them as a part of your application of your skincare, which saves you a little bit of time and it helps just condense the two so you don't have to think, oh gosh, I've got to do my skincare and now I've got to fit in this facial massage. You can just do the two in one, which is really powerful. And I hope that you can breathe a little bit better 
better after doing this massage as well. I know that my airways feel so much more clear and this is just such a gift during allergy season. So let me know what routine you'd like to see next in the comment box below and make sure to subscribe and like the video so you can be notified when my next one's released. I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos and creating quite the library of skincare routines and facial massage techniques that have worked for me and that I absolutely love and I just can't wait to share them with you.